When we said, you really want to live, kid? How serious are you? You stopped taking your medicines twice. You really want to live? And he says, no, I want to live. And I said, well, you're going to have to show me. Bangkok, capital of Thailand, a city of 10 million souls. Of these, 2 million are desperately poor and live in over 2,000 slums across the city. One of these slums, Klong Toy, is packed with over 100,000 people. A place where lives are changed in a heartbeat. I've never seen it in 40 years here. The water has never been this high. A secret world of alleyways and canals where lives have been interconnected for decades and where people have their own rules and set of values. Over 45 years ago, Father Joe Meyer helped set up the Mercy Center in Kwong Toy. A long time ago in a far off galaxy, a fellow priest was going through a bad patch. I asked permission to come into the slums. One of the big slums is Klong Thai. I came to Klong Thai very humbly and I asked the Catholics living there in the slaughterhouse, can I come? And it took about two years before they really, really accepted me. The center's put over 70,000 children through its 33 schools. It is where kids who have been abandoned, abused, or sold into the sex trade are brought, where kids who are sick or have AIDS are taken care of. This is where kids are given back their lives and where small miracles happen every day. We started our whole graphics program, our art program, so that the children could tell their stories because everybody has a story and everybody has to tell their story. And sometimes they can't. Sometimes it hurts too much. And they've chosen the colors. And they're bright and they're cheerful. You walk in there and you feel good. And this is what the children have painted and want everybody to see. One of these is Note, an orphan whose parents died when he was three. The center took him in and gave him a home and family. Painting became a very important outlet for him. He had a natural talent for art, and through his artwork, he was helped to deal with the extreme hardship life had thrown at him at such an early age. Another very talented young artist is Kang. Despite being HIV positive, Kang has found the strength to paint some beautiful pictures. And he's one of our best artists, my goodness gracious. He's painted them. Some of his pictures have been shown in the royal galleries. You never know what's in the mind of a child, but the, the color is fabulous. Again, we're very proud because they drew this on their own. We don't have them copy. Look at the beauty of this picture. And look at the colors. Golden swans. And he only saw white ones. There's no such thing as a, a golden swan on the wing. He's very serious, he's 13, very close to 14. He's not very well and he's not in a very good mood, but it's okay to be in a bad mood. That's totally okay. This is what the meds do. They're horrible medicines. And anyone who ever says these medicines are nice and these cocktails are nice, go shoot them with a big gun. They're horrible, but they keep them alive. The triplets, Miss Fawn, Miss Fa, and Miss Fi, are great girls. Their childhood was pretty screwed up, with a mum in prison and a dad who had run off. Their grandma was going to sell them to pay off some gambling debts. Father Joe heard about this and offered grandma a case of whiskey for the girls. The girls, too, have found comfort and joy in their painting. Far from the slums, Four and a half thousand miles away, the paintings have come to the attention of Marge Sullivan, art exhibition director of the art gallery at Harvey Bay in Queensland, Australia. This small holiday town, north of Brisbane, is as far removed from the slums of Klong Toy as you can get. So the good folks there asked us if we could bring some paintings and pictures so that everybody could see and say how wonderful and, and offer a blessing. That was nice, that was nice. All right, how oh, they look great. Look at that. the colors, beautiful. 
Very good. Father Joe flies out to represent the children who can't come for medical and other practical reasons. And we're going to have this huge concert in paintings. You can make somebody smile or happy even for a minute. You've changed the world. I just wish all of the children could see this. This is so beautiful. He does his best to capture all he sees to share with the kids. Although Father Joe has seen many of these paintings as they were being created, nothing prepares him for the moment when for the first time they are displayed together in an exhibition. So much beauty, color, and innocence. Especially amazing when you consider that these paintings come from the minds and hands of children with no mums or dads, no home, some of whom are very sick. This makes me very, very, very happy. So all of you folks with all of your complaints, stop complaining this is, this is nice. and draw some beautiful pictures like we have and express your own beauty in whoever you are. And don't be afraid. We contacted Mr. Skype. Mr. Skype, I believe, is a friend of Mr. Google. Anyway, some people who know about these things set it up. Some of our folks who spoke a bit of English conversed back and forth, and a lot of our children talked through modern technology. People have responded very strongly. I think um, the emotional impact of seeing, first of all, the, the images, which are just so colorful and such a celebration of life. More than three quarters of the artworks have sold. That's the most we've ever sold at an exhibition, so that's pretty amazing. This is my favourite. I like this one, so I've got 1,100. It's 1,100 bid with me. Who would believe that you beautiful people would uh, give two hoots about a bunch of funny little throwaway kids in Bangkok? Quick, wave your hand, wave your hat, wave your leg, wave anything. I'm hanging from a star. $1,400 you've done once, twice. Third and final call, you done quick, done. I'll be my The next day, Father Joe is taken to visit Fraser Island, the largest sand island in the world. It's a freshwater lake on the island. A magical place. He can't wait to show the children when he gets back to Palm Toy. So it's an old thing. I said, if our pictures are in their house, they're going to steal part of our spirit. And they said, no, 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 just the opposite. By the fact their spirit is there, it'll bring happiness to the people in the house. And they'll be as happy as we are here. This amazing art journey has led to a now thriving cottage industry a new generation of children are taking up the baton and continuing to paint beautiful, imaginative pictures. Note is now 21 and is working in a coffee shop. He dreams of owning his own cafe one day. ถึงความในใจที่ที่ตัวเองมีอยู่และพูดไม่ได้ลงไปในภาพว่าเพราะผมก็จะบอกทุกคนว่าเวลาที่หมดกําลังใจหรือว่าหมดหวังก็อย่
เช็ดเทียนก็จะเวลาไปวาดรูปก็จะสบายใจขึ้นค่ะกูชอบการวาดรูปเวลาคนเห็นภาพที่หนูวาดก็ทําให้หนูสบายใจมากขึ้นสึกว่าคนเห็นคุณค่าในในการที่เราวาดรูปอะค่ะขอบคุณคุณพ่อแม่เออที่เลี้ยงหนูตั้งแต่เด็กๆยังแต่ยังสองขวบโตขึ้นได้เรียนหนังสือได้ยินการศึกษาแล้วก็ได้เรียนที่สูงสูงที่ดีเดอะทริปเลตส์ได้ไปกลับมาที่ประตูแห่งการวาดรูปร่วมกับทีอีแห่งชื่อดังของนักวาดทีอีก็แสดงรูปของทีอีแห่งคิงผู้แพ้ปวดไอเอ็ดส์มาตลอดชีวิตของเขาเมื่อปีที่แล้วเขาตายเพียงแค่21ปีที่แล้วและภาพของทีอีและภาพของเขาเป็นบทเรียนต่อความเป็นมนุษย์และความสามารถที่สุดของนักวาดที่มีชื่อเสียงทีอีอยู่ในโรงเรียนเมอร์ซีเซ็นเตอร์ตั้งแต่อายุ15ถึง17และได้รับการสมัครเรียนศิลปะที่มหาวิทยาลัย A few years ago, T's right hand was blown up in a street riot. His right hand was his drawing hand, so he taught himself to paint and draw with his left hand, which makes his art all the more remarkable. We shall meet together in the shadow of the rainbow.